I'm going to show you um, how to solve force notes three, example two. So we're looking at a situation where something's being pulled at an angle. So we're going to have to use the skills that you hopefully learned in the last video. So I'm going to solve for net force or sigma f in the y direction because I'm trying to find n. So in my picture over here, I've drawn the pull very large because I know it's not parallel to anything else. Therefore, I'm going to have to break it into components. So it's not really outlandishly large. It's just that that's helping me see py and px. And instead of putting y and x, if you want to, you can just go straight to p cosine theta for the x component or p sine theta for the y component. So mass times acceleration in the y direction will be equal to, let's see, I have the normal up, that'll be positive. I have p sine theta up, that'll be positive. And I have mg or weight down, so I'm going to make that one negative. Be careful about acceleration. You just read a problem that tells you you have six meters per second per second of acceleration, but this is in the y direction. We don't want this thing flying up in the air, so that acceleration should be zero. So this is going to go in as zero. So what that means is the weight force is balancing the other two. So you can, if you want to, set it up as a balance. So weight down, normal up, p sine theta. So let's see what we can substitute in here. 12 times 9.8. The normal is unknown. The pull is 125. And the angle is 45 degrees. So I'm going to pick up my calculator, put those things in. And I've calculated a normal force of 29.2. Now, I may need this in another calculation, I expect to, in fact. So you might want to write down some extra digits, keep that handy, because you're going to use that again. But if I'm just reporting my answer, I'll go ahead and round it to 29.2, and I'll put the unit on it. So my handwriting is making normal look different from Newton's. Okay, so I'm ready to go to friction, I think, except that, wait, I don't know what the frictional force is. I found the denominator, because remember the coefficient of friction is the ratio of the force it takes to drag an object, divided by the force it takes to lift that object. So 29.21165, whatever says your calculator. And now I need to go see if I can find the force of friction. So the force of friction is in the x direction. So I'm going to do sigma f in the x direction, or ma in the x direction. And I have friction, which is my unknown. So I think I'll leave it sine off and just let it be a true unknown. And then I have p cosine theta, the pull in the x direction. So right here, I'm now going to use that 6 meters per second. So this is my 12 kilogram object. There's my six meters per second, so that's the net force. There's my unknown friction. The pull is 125. This time times the cosine of 45 degrees. So solving for friction, please do that if you haven't done it yet. And I have negative 16 on my calculator, negative 16.388, et cetera. So if I were asked to report friction, you wouldn't have to report it as negative. Remember, somebody could set the problem up using different um, conventions for signs. But anyway, the frictional force is about 16.4 Newtons. So I'm going to take that unrounded number over here, and I'm going to use the absolute value because that's what's used to report coefficients of friction. And I'll divide that number by my normal force. Again, use unrounded numbers in your calculations. And you should get a coefficient of stickiness here of 0.561. Hope that helps. Good job. 